Hi, you on Korea Sound channel. Now I'm going to show how to boost 3G and 4G signals with the help of our big watt antenna. It will be particularly useful when you are on the outskirts in territories with poor internet coverage and when you are at a cottage. Also good signals will enable high speed. You will come to know what materials you will need, of what sizes they should be and to what extent it can boost signals. Also how much internet speed can increase when the antenna is used and how to find the right place to solder the antenna to the circuit board. Let's get started. Let's start off from boosting this 3G modem, which speed is really low. Then I will show how to boost 4G and Wi-Fi signals through the example with 3G modem. So let's make the antenna. We need a single wire for the antenna, just three squares and a coaxial cable. You can take it out of an old cell phone or you can buy a high frequency cable that can resist 50 ohm electric resistance. You will also need a base to make a reflector. Its width has to be 168 millimeters, whereas its height has to be 120 millimeters. You can make it of paper-based laminate, metal clad glass textilite or just of a metal sheet. You can buy all these stuffs in a radio electronics shop. You can also use the antenna without a reflector. It will be receiving signals all around. But the signal will decrease from 12 to 8 dB. In the schematic you can see the size of the big watt antenna for waves of 2100 MHz frequency. So let's start. Here is our built-in antenna. We need to take it out very carefully. If you make a mistake, you will have to buy a new modem. It's a modem with a removable antenna. Modern 3G modems quite often have connections for external antennas. If it is the case, you just need to buy a cord with an antenna and connect it to the modem. In case if there is already a built-in antenna, it's not a trouble. You just need to solder an antenna instead. We need to solder a coaxial cable, but the coaxial cable has to be soldered in the end, when capacitors and resistors had already been soldered. I will solder it to the mounting point. So let's solder it to the mounting point. Armor has to be soldered to the case. It's ready. Now we need to make an antenna. Let's strip the wire. If you don't do it carefully, you may nick the wire. It makes conductivity of radio waves much worse. Let's try to put marks in between each 36.8 mm. Now we are going to bend the wires with the help of the pliers. Our marks need to be bent. These sections are going to be 90 degrees bent. You need to be precise when bending it. Even 1 mm inaccuracy can make boosting of the antenna much worse. In the end you will get such an antenna. A big watt antenna. Then I soldered it in a quick way. Let's check the signal. It's increased. Now let me amplify it for you. Let's strip 3 to 4 millimeters of the wire, but not more. We work with high frequency waves and we can lose the signal. Then we need to tint the wire, the armor and the coaxial cable. After this, they will be soldered well. Then we need to solder the wire to the antenna. The armor has to be soldered to the antenna base. The coaxial cable has to be soldered to the opposite angle. Now it's ready. You can also put reflectors around it, it will increase the signal for 1 decibel. The results we got are astonishing. When I turned the antenna to the mast, connection was perfect and its speed was really high. The internet speed increased from 0.6 to 16 megabyte. But what should you do if you have a 4G modem? This method applies to it too. But there are some differences. 2500 MHz frequency and dual polarization. This modem has two antennas and it has two front ends. The size of 4G antenna is smaller because in this case frequency is higher. We need to make two antennas for horizontal and vertical polarization. And of course we need a Wi-Fi router. This video is about how to boost Wi-Fi reception. Now I'm going to show you how to boost your Wi-Fi signal. There are two kinds of antennas in Wi-Fi routers, pin antennas and built-in antennas etched on the circuit. We can boost these antennas, you can solder a wire to it just as we did to a modem. In the beginning we need to take an antenna cap off, lift the back off, take the circuit, here we can see a wire and an antenna. We need to desolder this pin, do it very carefully in order not to melt the isolation. Let's snip it and then strip 3 to 4 millimeters of the wire. In order for it to solder well, we need to tint the wire and solder it to the antenna. First solder the coaxial cable and then the armor. It has to be soldered to the antenna base and also has to be soldered as close to the band as possible. Now it's ready. Here is the size of the antenna. Now we can connect to the internet not just at home, but even when we are away from the house. Now we got 70 dB dynamic range. That's all for now. How do you boost your Wi-Fi signal? Share with us in your comments. Don't forget to subscribe, goodbye for the moment.